atrocities against women in Afghanistan are only growing with each passing day. In the latest, a former female lawmaker of Afghanistan was shot dead, along with her bodyguard, by unknown assailants in her residence in Kabul. According to a spokesperson of the Kabul Security Department, Mursal Nabizada, who had been a member of parliament in the US-backed government, was killed by unknown gunmen in Kabul city. She was a member of the Parliamentary Defence Commission and worked as a private non-governmental group. Nabizada was elected in 2019 and stayed in office until the ta Taliban takeover. She was one of the few female parliamentarians who were living in Kabul after the Taliban took over Afghanistan in August 2021. The Taliban regime had earlier provided assurances on how they would not engage in systematic retribution and offered protection to the women of Afghanistan. But the reality is just the opposite of that. Nabizada's assassination marks the first time a politician from the ousted government has been killed under the Taliban regime. She was among the few politicians who had decided against fleeing Afghanistan. According to police officials, the shooting took place at around 3 a.m. local time on Sunday. Her brother and a second security guard were injured in the attack. A third security guard fled the scene with money and jewellery. She died on the first floor of her home, which was used also as her office. Well, no group has claimed responsibility for the attack and a probe is underway. But the Taliban earlier ordered a ban on women's beauty parlours. They're not allowed to step out of their homes without a male relative, not allowed to go to gyms or parks or even study further. The women in Afghanistan have pretty much been relegated to live like second-class citizens. Be on the field. In nine years since the fall of the Taliban, sporting challenges they face away on the field when they take part in their first...